Welcome to How to Score a Rockton LinkedIn Profile. My name is Jeffrey DeSocio, owner principal of AIMC Business Solutions. So tonight, what we'll do is we'll start with an introduction to our company, and then uh, we'll ask the question, so what if you had no LinkedIn profile at all? What was the world like before LinkedIn? Why should you care about your LinkedIn profile today? Then we'll go over some LinkedIn statistics, and then we'll get right to the meat of it. Eight tips for scoring a rocked-in LinkedIn profile. Then we'll go over some closing thoughts and next steps, and then um, offer some question and answers. So about my company, so it's AMC Business Solutions. I'm the owner, Jeffrey DeSocio. Uh, it's a digital internet marketing company. What we provide is responsive website solutions, social media management, social ads, online reputation management, merchant services. We also have an IT sector. We offer IT retainer and advisory services. We've been in business for about 12 years. We also, I've also been networking for about 13 years in the greater Boston area and founded Mass Professional Networking in 2013. Been on LinkedIn since 20. 2006, and I have a 28-year IT career, and I'm a Northeastern University graduate. So what if you had no LinkedIn profile at all? So if you see the picture on the left, it was the world before social media. You know, before social media, your desk looked like a, a lot of clutter there, if you, if you look at it. You know, we went, you had um, Pinterest was actually a real pin board. Uh, Skype was your telephone, Facebook was your Rolodex, and then you would have pictures all over your desk. Foursquare would actually be a globe on your desk. Now, the right show, column shows if you don't have any LinkedIn profile at all, if you're a professional today, if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, this is what your business card would look like. It would be blank. Do you want to have a blank business, uh, LinkedIn profile? So why should you care about LinkedIn today uh, in 2019? I mean, LinkedIn in general has grown dramatically, especially in the past two years, um, to the point where clients and coworkers are checking you out. They're checking your profile. If you ever see who's seen your profile, check that out. You'll be very surprised. Your clients are checking you out if you own a business, and your coworkers are checking you out if you work at a company. Uh, potential employees and employees are checking you out. So especially if you have your, um, there's a little setting in the LinkedIn profile to make you be open for job opportunities, employees will be checking you out. So you really ought to make sure your LinkedIn profile is top notch. You also get potential job leads if you follow companies that you like and you're, it's a great place. I'd say LinkedIn today is heads above uh, the traditional job board profiles that we have, like Career Builder and Monster and Indeed. And the most important of all, why should you care? You build relationships. It's the best platform to build professional relationships. Remember, your LinkedIn profile is your personal brand. Now, here's some stats about LinkedIn. And this is as of September 2019. There's just under half a billion users. And 250 billion, a million of those members in the US, followed by the UK, Canada, Austria. We did not mention India. India is a big one. And two new users are added to LinkedIn per second and 40% log in daily. It is getting bigger. So let's get into how about eight tips to score a rocked in LinkedIn profile. So tip number one is your profile picture. It is worth a thousand words. So what should your profile picture look like? Um, you don't want the bottom left here with a bag over your face because that's your first impression. It's the first thing people see is your picture. If they didn't see that, it, it probably won't, you won't have an all-star profile. So here on the left side, this is really, uh, I would say a great profile picture. When you have a suit on, you look good, your hair's done and all that. On the right side, it looks like you're ready to take a nap or you're wearing sunglasses. This is not exactly what you call a professional picture. Don't recommend you do that. 
that might be more aligned to a Facebook or Instagram picture. Tip number two is your headline. Now that is what goes right under your picture in your LinkedIn profile. So your tagline quickly identifies your area of expertise. So what I suggest you do is pick three to five uh, competencies that, you have, that you're really great at, whether it's marketing, IT, um, legal, whatever it is. Um, and then that's what your headline should be. That's how you get attention. So some samples is product management leader, small, medium-sized business, uh, product marketing, education technology, or an agile evangelist. You really want your headline to grab attention. Very important. Next tip is your summary. And that goes right under your picture and headline. Uh, this is where you tell your story. It's, this is your elevator pitch, an introduction to you, not your company. It's to you, because remember, LinkedIn is all about your personal brand. You want to talk about what results you've delivered over your career, and then end it off with your call to action, what would you like for folks to do, and your contact information. I do not recommend putting your home address. I would say simply email and cell phone number, because this is the story of you. What I've noticed some folks have done is they actually have the background of their job, the company they work for, no, LinkedIn is about you. It's not about your company. Now, when you get down to your experience section, this is the part of the LinkedIn profile that looks like a resume. But you don't really don't want to focus on a typical um, job description. What you want to focus on is what you're taking forward. What accomplishments have you made? What tasks did you do? What about the impact you made at the companies you worked for? Think about the impact. What what was changing? What did you change? How did you stand out? This is the place to sell yourself. Really sell yourself and show that you've accomplished a lot. Everybody out there has an expertise in something. Show it off. You want to get really specific and use facts. Don't want to get really granular and say responsible for. Um, you really want to say, yeah, you wrote a people. You wrote a thought leadership blog, or you launched six multi-million dollar products. You developed, you're a software developer, you developed a groundbreaking app. Just think of someone, whoever developed the Uber app. Think about that one for a minute. That's a groundbreaking app. How does your LinkedIn profile stand out? You want to highlight your leadership. All right, so if you're a leader, whether you've led your a company or led a department or an organization, what have you done? Have you how many people you've hired? How big are your teams that you hired? Um, what else have you done? Have you presented a big roadmap to a board of directors? That is huge. Anything you've done in that respect, you want to make sure you highlight your leadership on your LinkedIn profile. Continue to flaunt yourself. So again, I've mentioned it a few times. LinkedIn is about your personal brand. It's how you brand yourself. You actually want to show that you're human and not necessarily be all work. You want to share some of your interests, even if they're not professional, like you play guitar or you're a health and wellness coach. You definitely want to post your certifications on LinkedIn. If you have like an ITIL certification or social work or you have a paralegal certification, Put that on there. If you've ever published any articles or patents, remember you're branding yourself. If you've developed something, you have a patent, show that. Even if you worked on some special products, like you launched an e-commerce site, you want to flaunt yourself and put that in a LinkedIn profile. And the last tip, what I suggest is you grow your network. So if you have a great LinkedIn profile, and you have at least 500 LinkedIn connections, you have a decent LinkedIn profile. How do you grow it? You join professional groups. Think about groups that are related to your expertise. You want to join groups that maybe you're an alumni group of your college or your city, and also um, where your clients are, because you want to connect with colleagues and clients, and groups are a great way to do that. You want to follow people that you idolize and mentor. You want as mentors or follow others that you work with. 
And you want to follow companies because if you want to know what's going on at that company, let's say you're interviewing at a company, follow it, see what's going on there, see what works there. By following the company, you can do that. So we're going in for a landing now for closing thoughts. So if you need help with LinkedIn, uh, we do 15 minute consultations. Uh, just uh, you can, our contact information here is a little bit lower on the screen. You can get in touch with us at our, you know, either by phone or text or by email. And uh, we also, what that leads to is we have a business networking and personal branding toolkit, which is awesome. What that is, is, you know, we help you uh, take the next step of your LinkedIn profile. We also um, help develop a plan for you, how to start your kind of your networking career, what events to go to. And if you're shy, we even have a chaperone service. Now, if you're local in the greater Boston area, I also encourage you to join the Mass Professional Networking Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. And as earlier, what my company does, we do digital marketing. So if you like any help with any digital marketing needs, get in touch with us at AMC Business Solutions. And that wraps it up. So what we suggest you do, if you have any questions, just leave a comment here on the video and we'll get back to you. Appreciate your time and have a great day. Again, how to score a rocking LinkedIn profile with Jeffrey DeSocio, EMC Business Solutions.